So it's important for us to aim to have good debt. And just to, to bring it home a bit, um, we'll differentiate between what good debt is and what bad debt is. So good debt is, say, for example, you, you take a loan to buy land, to buy mortgage, because that usually appreciates in value, and therefore that is good debt. If you take a loan for you to invest in your education that could help you to, to further your, your, your income, that's also good debt. If you take debt to invest in a carefully chosen business, and here business is, is we have to be very careful with it because people a lot of time take loans to invest in businesses that are not well thought through and all those things, and they end up being stuck with a debt that doesn't necessarily help them. So if you do take time to research the business idea, be sure with it, test it out first, and then only take the loan to grow the business, then a business loan can be good debt. And then lastly, if you, if you find an opportunity where you could take a loan for you to invest the money, say, for example, in something that gives you a higher return than, than what you're paying in interest, then that, of course, could be good. But then on the other side, there is bad debt. And a good example is, is uh, what we see a lot of times people doing. So they take car loans. Uh, cars are usually depreciating assets. So they decrease in value as, as time goes by. And you're stuck with a loan um, on an asset that tomorrow is worth more than what it is worth today. Secondly is a credit card. So we get easily enticed with, um, you, you can access a credit card, um, your limit is increased, um, those kind of things. And credit card debt usually funds um, lifestyle um, gaps that we have. So in case today you really want to buy this, this uh, new TV and you don't have the money, then you think, okay, I'll take the money from the credit card and pay it slowly over time. And that's an example of bad debt. Mobile loans, as you spoke about, uh, we've seen the Fuliza example of how much Safaricom is doing. Usually also these fund lifestyle um, gaps and these are also bad debts. And then lastly, we have cash advances that you can get from your employer. Uh, you apply for an advance on the 15th, knowing your salary is coming on the 30th. So unless it's an emergency, you should really avoid these things because it simply means that if you do take a cash advance to them, then your salary will come uh, less what you took as an advance. And of course, that means that you'll have to find more money for you to, you'll have to take another loan for you to pay what uh, you lost in terms of your income. So good debt, key things is that it helps you grow in value. It's usually within your budget. And remember, we spoke about preparing a budget, and it usually has a low interest rate. Bad debt, on the other side, usually funds your lifestyle. You want to be seen as a certain um, caliber or a certain level of a person. So that's what bad debt usually funds. It usually fills expense gaps. So when you do your budget, you find, okay, I have a gap of 2,000 uh, or 10,000 or whatever the amount is. Then you take on debt to fill your expense gap. The problem is you'll be stuck in that debt forever because you always have to find another 10,000 the next month because that expense gap, you've not filled it in a, in a sustainable way. Then usually bad debt is also unplanned um, and not within your budget. And sometimes um, it can be backed by a depreciating asset in the example of a 